Hello welcome to the Clippers news channel, if you do not want to miss any news turn on notifications and leave your like. Bones Highland has been an afterthought with the Los Angeles Clippers even since James Harden arrived in Southern California. As Ty Lue's rebuilt team surges up the standings, proving its bona fides as a top-tier title contender, there's only been further indication Highland won't be a part of Los Angeles's plans come the postseason. Why not move the third-year guard before the trade deadline, then? As February 8 dawns, the Clippers have set an asking price of two second-round picks in exchange for Highland, according to Michael Scotto of Hoopshype, while the Minnesota Timberwolves and Charlotte Hornets are among teams who have shown interest in the third-year guard. Heading into Thursday's trade deadline, there's a growing belief the Clippers would consider trading guard Bones Highland for two second-round picks, league sources told Hoopshype. The Timberwolves and Hornets are among the notable teams who've expressed trade interest in Highland, league sources said. Highland has made just 11 appearances for Los Angeles since losing his regular spot in the rotation after Harden's third game with the Clippers. He's averaged 2.2 points in 5.8 minutes per game over that time frame, shooting a ghastly 22.5% from the field while getting on the floor exclusively in garbage time. Needless to say, he won't be playing anything more than a bench-warming role with the Clippers as their quest for the first championship in franchise history continues. Highland's shoot-first tendencies and imminently exploitable status on the other end as an undersized combo guard make him a tough fit in the playoffs. He's played in just 10 postseason games over the last two years, five with the Denver Nuggets as a rookie and five more last season as the injury bug once again bit Los Angeles. Even before accounting for Highland's debilitating size issues on defense, there's just not much use under the playoff microscope for a microwave scorer who's at his best with the ball in his hands and isn't a dead-eye three-point shooter. Maybe Minnesota could find a situational role for Highland when the team needs extra scoring punch. Highland will never be anything close to a positive defensively, but is at least less damaging on that side of the ball in a scheme built around traditional pick-and-roll coverage, with an elite rim protector like Rudy Gobert behind him rather than switching. The Wolves need all the offensive dynamism off the bench they can get, too, especially from the perimeter. We will bring more news here, I want to know your opinion, leave it here in the comments. Like and activate notifications and be the first to receive all our content.